guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I believe in the saying that not all that glitters is gold. Yes, that is true. And many of us believe that you can only become successful if you landed in big corporations, in big companies, or if you have this white collar job. But it proves to me that some success may be gotten out of farming activities. Some of our success may be achieved through doing dirty works, like this one. Today I'm going to share with you our success in raising these chickens. Because how many months ago, many of our followers commented that we will not become successful because there are predators, because these chickens might get infected with virus, or many other hindrances that they are actually mentioning. But it's my principle not to focus on the negative. I would like to focus on the things that we can improve and the things that we can do. And today I am very proud that we already have 800 heads of adult chickens. And how many months from now, they're gonna be producing eggs and chicks. And this is the nature of our business. Actually, in December of last year, we started only 100 heads of this layer chickens. And now we already have 800. And my intention is to have this 3,000 heads. But I would like to recant this statement because 3,000 heads is really very difficult to manage. And I realized that only half of this property is suitable for chicken farming. And the half of this is already suitable for the fish farming. That is why I renewed my idea and I would just like to settle with the 1,000 heads of chicken because this is already more than enough to produce volumes of chicks and volumes of eggs that can be sold in the market. Our experience today is very bad because we are flooded and we are disturbed by this La Nina. How many days ago some of our barangays or the villages here in the city of Zamboanga had experienced flood and some of the houses were flooded with volumes of water and this makes us difficult to bring in some food for the chickens to bring in the rice because the road is really muddy and uh, we don't have yet the budget to repair or to reconstruct our road going here. So guys, we have just finished spreading this rice on the ground and I am confident now that they will not anymore contract disease such as the colds and the cough brought by the ammonia because it's already emitting bad odor that's why we have to control this one immediately and we will put the rice hull. Now it's our turn to feed our chicken but before we gonna feed them Allow me to just get some of the grass that we have cultured and this grass is called Mombasa grass and we are culturing this and this is very good for our chicken because it contains high protein. So come on please be with me. I'm going to cut the grasses and we will mix that with water spinach and then after getting this we will put this in the grass chopper 
and then we will mix that with the commercial pellet and then we will feed this to our chicken. Come on, let's go! So you look at this guys, this is the finished product of the grasses that we have chopped through this chopper machine. What's good about this is we are cutting half of our expenses in so far as the feeding is concerned to this uh, breeder chickens. And uh, I'm so glad that we were able to acquire this chopper machine and maybe you will ask how much is this? Well, this is just around 34,000 pesos and I'm sharing this because I would like you also to try this one maybe you will try chopping your water spinach and even this uh, Mombasa grass that we have cultured right there So guys, we are now about to feed our chicken and maybe you will ask Dexter, what's the composition of your feeding? Well, we mix our commercial pellet with this kind of grass that we have just chopped with the chopper machine. Actually, we are actually using many kinds of grasses. We have this water spinach, we have this Mombasa grass, and sometimes we use the cabbage or the pechai that we get from the market. So now we will start to feed the chicken because this is already their feeding time and what I like about them is that they will still grow very fast and affected even if we are integrating the grasses that are just available from the surroundings. So come on let's witness how we're gonna feed these 800 heads of chickens.
I think it's been two months already or maybe more than a month that we haven't made a vlog about our construction for this uh, chicken coop and as you can see we already have completed the fencing and we use the bamboo as our fence so that these chickens cannot go outside and you will see that our bananas are also growing great they are now providing shade to this coop the layer chickens out there are producing 90% of fertile eggs and actually we already have disposed more than 2,000 of our chicks to the market and I'm glad that many people have also tried been encouraged to engage in this kind of farming and it's good that we are able to help also the desire of other people in so far as this farming is concerned so it's time now to gather some eggs I believe that we can gather so many eggs today because I instructed my staff not to collect the eggs from yesterday and today so come on let's go inside in the breeding coop and then we will collect the eggs let's go so guys i miss this thing this collection of eggs inside in the breeding coop i have not done this quite a while so i will do it myself we will collect the eggs and then we will count how many eggs we can collect today and yesterday Let me collect your eggs. Okay. So we will examine if we can collect in this uh, nest. Wow, we have one, two, three, four, and then this one has many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, very large egg. So we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen eggs. Fourteen. We have fifteen, sixteen. Good. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Wow, that's amazing. 26 eggs. These are your eggs. This is not your food. 60 eggs. Oh my goodness, this is perfect because we have 30 hens right here and I instructed my staff not to collect the eggs yesterday and today. So all in all we got 60, two trays of eggs for the 30 layers that are here. So we will visit the other breeding coop where I believe we can also get some eggs. Come on, let's go. So we will get inside and we will see if we can also get some eggs right here. Hello? One, two, we only got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What about the other coop? Thank you. I hope you can still recall that we are intending to produce uh, the DW chicken and uh, this is now coming to a realization because our crossbreed of the Siam and this rooster of this Rhode Island had been very successful. Wow, nakagawas! <laughs> so 
So we will try if we can get some eggs right here. Excuse me. Okay, just relax. Siams or wild chickens. Can I get some of your eggs? Oh, just relax. Don't have eggs. What about the other coop? Just relax. No, don't don't get wild. Oh. And we also have started the breeding of the Siam to the Peruvian chicken. And you will see that they are big chicken. And I hope that we can use their produce as our materials in the future to produce this BW chicken. So, oops, relax. Okay, relax. These are the eggs that we have gathered from this breeding pen so we will get inside the farmhouse and you will see that there are really plenty of eggs right there come on let's go actually we only have 40 layers and we are producing 35 to 40 eggs in a day and these are the produced for the period of three days and this is a big accomplishment and I am imagining if you have 800 layers of this kind of chicken and we can collect 800 eggs every day I couldn't imagine how much eggs we can produce in a month and how much money we can produce just by selling these eggs to the market or if you really would like to expand your income we can produce chicks that are sold at a higher price compared to selling eggs so these are the mark of our success and I hope that you are encouraged and I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos to inspire other people and I would like to ask you to please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed because we are uploading videos every five days and if you will subscribe and hit the notification bell you will be notified of every video that we gonna upload only here at Dexter's World Pray for me While I think I'm